Good afternoon. My name is Michael Randolph, and I'm with the Center for Nonprofit and Community uh, Development. And what we do is to provide technical assistance to um, other nonprofits to build their capacity. One of the things we do in terms of building capacity is to talk about the numbers and teach nonprofits how to understand the numbers, how to be able to read a financial statement, and how to create a financial statement. For example, this class teaches them about a balance sheet, cash flow, um, uh, a, a, a loss, and um, a loss. In, a, um, God, I'm, 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 I'm. Give me a second. An income statement, which is a profit and loss statement, as well as a break-even analyst. At the end of the day, what we teach on this financial management section is how to be able to read the numbers, produce the top financial information necessary in order to let people know your financial position. Tonight, we have someone here tonight who's one of the nonprofits that's taking part of our training program. I want to introduce her. Just want her to briefly tell who she is and uh, what she does and that when she talks about herself, she's going to be very brief. Keep in mind that nonprofit name because you want to see her again, big time, as she began to evolve from this training. Having said that, ma'am, who are you? What do you do? Hello, my name is Jessica Johnson, and I'm the CEO of Reparation for the Wrongfully Convicted. Um, our organization uh, is a nonprofit corporation, and our goal is to educate the public about the seriousness of the injustice occurring um, with wrongful conviction as well as um, as we grow as our organization organization grow we want to expand our services and helping those who are wrongfully convicted by educating them with the law and their rights and helping them with appeals and so forth excellent very well put so where are you located um, Day City, Florida, Pasco County. So Pasco County, okay, Pasco County in the in the house. So anyway, before we start class, just to give a summary of what we talked about earlier, to those who are climbing in right now to look at this uh, Facebook uh, post, that it's um, it's all about the numbers. If you're a nonprofit and you don't understand how to read financial statements, you could be in real trouble. When you're talking to that banker, that lender, or that funder, you need to be able to understand your cash flow statement, your balance sheet, and your profit and loss statement, and all those other financial tools we call financial performance so that you can articulate financially what it is and what position you're in. Again, this is part of ongoing training in terms of increasing the capacity of a nonprofit. The ninth class is part one of financial statement. The, uh, that's going to be part of a three-part class. The second part is going to talk about financial statement from a practicality in which we're going to teach you actually how to create those uh, financial statements. And then finally, the last part of the class is to create a situation where you're ready to submit your financial statements to a lender for possible uh, consideration for funding. Now, let's get started tonight. Um, I'm really admired what you're doing as a nonprofit because the service that you provided is very much needed. And we know a lot of pieces, people are in prison today wrongfully. So organizations like yours, you give peace to the community, and we appreciate that. So let's now get ready for the class. This, see, it's important that nonprofits like you get the skills necessary to represent your clients.